action. All right, back in the pool deck, 200 meter breaststroke, our next event. Big time surge there. Ryan Murphy has moved the LA Current into first, leading the battle 49 points. Tokyo Frog Kings three points behind, and some work to be done by the Toronto Titans and the Aqua Centurions. And for the first time, Roddy, we see a swimmer not compete for the Aqua Centurions. Ariana Castiglione injured, so her team is going to lose four points overall because she did not show. They will score zero points for her race, and uh, her teammate, Martina Carraro, big moment for her to potentially try to step up. Well, it certainly puts more pressure on her, right? I mean, she now has to really win this race to get her points. So if she doesn't, lose, doesn't win this race, that could really pretty much doom Aqua Centurions, at least for today. I mean, they are way behind at this point. Now, they do have some strong relays, especially on the men's side, so they have a chance to make it up there. Kelsey Wong out in lane number eight for the Toronto Titans. A year ago, she was at the Cali Condors. Wong was second overall at the ISL final a year ago in Las Vegas, finishing second to, of course, unbeaten Lily King. King, the MVP of match number one for the Cali Condors, one of just two teams to get a win here early on in the season. Three in the top eight in this event, ranked wise. Solid swims by Sebastian and Carraro. Speaking of Carraro, the first weekend, 21 and 22 respectively. Aoki, lane number one at the bottom of the pool, Wong in lane number eight. You can see on the left and the right side. Wong will definitely come off the pace, so expect her to have a, a better second half than Aoki. Aoki was just out of the money at the World Championships a couple years ago. She finished fourth in the 100 breaststroke. No matter what happens, we are going to have a first-time champion in this race. Frog Kings first and third right now. Aoki at 106.3. Shimizu, you mentioned her teammate, 107.4. Nobody even really close to these top three swimmers right now. And look at Shimizu pushing the pace here on the third 50. She's nearly pulled even with 75 meters to go. And she was an Olympic finalist in the 400 IM, that decathlon of swimming. So you see her two from the left. She'll certainly, certainly start to make a move. Aoki starts to fall off the pace. And one of the big reasons why Wog was runner up last year, such a great back half. Sixth at the World Championships a couple of years ago. She's ranked fifth in the 200 breast. Going to win this in real important points for Toronto. Toronto right now currently third with 37 points. Wog leading Shimizu, but still a big opportunity there. Battling it out for second. Shimizu trying to hold off the rest of the field. Kelsey Wog, who was second all last year, it seemed, to Lily King. First time ever, she gets the win. Shimizu will finish second, but it's first and third for the Toronto Titans, at least 15 points being scored there. And this is the problem with the, a, a team like the Kern, who, who just racked up the points in the 200 backstroke. They finished fifth and sixth here, and depending on jackpot points, you know, now they're gonna end up scoring nothing. They go from 24 to nothing, so you really have to come to swim each and every event. That's why so far, look how close this is on the club standings. At the end of this event, you see why WOG has put them right back in the thick of things for Toronto, and now, because of what she did, just like Murphy, she now can smile because it is close. Well, that is the third win early on for the Toronto Titans, and look at how close the team battle is. Three points separating first from third here on day one of match number three.